It's Durango. Look at that. Lime lock. Today on Cars and Cameras, it's the finale episode of our Model T Parade Cart. We swapped on a big valve, 25 horsepower engine. We put big wheels and tires on it and we made it do burnouts. But in today's episode, we're gonna be installing a custom one of a kind line lock system, as well as a tire lubrication system to do stationary burnouts. We're gonna start things off with a test. So without spending a lot of extra time on making the full line lock setup, we're just gonna test what we had, our idea by just locking the front wheels up into the spindles and see if it, cause see, cause there they go, they're locked. Uh, we're worried that it's just gonna push the front wheel. So this is why we're doing this test. This rod's in here to simulate our line lock setup. It's just going to test to see if it's going to hold the tires stationary or just push the whole front end. the finale on the Model T build to bring you guys an announcement. So we're starting a giveaway from now until October 13th, 2022. All orders on our website, cars-cameras.com, will get you automatically entered to win this. This is a custom-wrapped, one-off metal toolbox with our favorite graphics on it, filled with our favorite tools for working on go-karts and mini bikes. Here, come here and check out what we got in here. So this thing is filled to the brim with our favorite go-to tools. We got carburetor jet drill bits. We got feeler gauges. We got the uh, Charles go-to pocket tune-up kit. We got uh, the our favorite brand of flashlight, streamlights. All three of us carry these things and we love them. We got one of Charles's mini bike ornaments. We have a boroscope. This goes on the end of your smartphone and can go into cylinders. So you can check and see if you've blown a hole in your piston. We got standard and metric adjustable wrenches. We have uh, pliers, screwdrivers, hammers, wrench sets, socket set, and some zip ties and more that we're gonna be throwing in here. So every $5 spent on our website, cars-cameras.com, is gonna get you one entry to win. So if you spend $20 on our website, uh, that means that'll get you four entries to win this toolbox. Again, the giveaway ends October 13th, 2022. We're going to be announcing the winner on Instagram Live on October 14th, 2022. We're going to contact the winner via this email right here and via telephone if you provide a telephone number at checkout. So there's been a lot of spam going along, going around. We're not gonna try to contact you in the YouTube comments, only from this email right here and by telephone, and of course on our official Instagram page on Instagram Live. So this is a great way to uh, support cars and cameras. It's a great way to pick up some high quality merchandise, and it's a great way to have a chance to, to win a completely unique one-off custom wrapped toolbox, again, filled with our favorite tools for working on small engines. Let's get back to the Model T. Yeah, so, uh, and the sprayer system, if we continue to uh, to keep these tires wet and lubricated, it'll keep, burning, it'll keep burning out. See, it started to grip and walk forward and you could, you could see it kind of push the front tires. So if we keep pressure on it, I don't know, I don't know how big the water tank we're gonna have, but it'll be pretty funny. So now that we know that it'll do a stationary burnout, we need to go ahead and reinforce this front end. Look how terrible this is. Like it's like what? Three eighths bolts or something? This all, all thread? Yeah, the linkage is, I mean, we're, if we do the line lock system with this front end right now, probably shortly these wheels are gonna start coming together and that's not gonna be good. We're gonna remove these lower links out of here and it's got this I, it's not really a three-link setup. It's like two and a half because there's just a bolt here. 
with a rubber bushing. Oh God, I broke it. Anyway, sorry. I, um, and then these two lower links. So we're going to try and double, if not triple the size of this steel just so we don't have these folds. Because look, this one's already bent from, you know, a, a, a really epic parade. There's no telling what happened on that day. It must have been the 4th of July. They joked this thing. But uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to reinforce this because... I can look at this. I can I can twist it just by hand. So that's what we're gonna do. I'll show you the articulation that this front end has. It's got a pivot bolt up front. That's why I called it like a half link. The rubber bushing is like completely gone. So we're probably gonna repair that with like a piece of radiator hose. But uh, this is what I'm. This is what we're replacing right here. These are so tiny, and look, it's already bent. And we think it's the original. Uh, front su front <laughs> suspension or whatever it's called. Oh, there we go. There's supposed to be a transverse leaf spring across here, in which there is. There is a leaf spring, but it's that piece of steel is thicker than the whole frame stacked together. So there's no way that it would ever like actually bounce. So, but it's it's cool that they mimicked the original Model T front end as close as they could. Oh, isn't that cute? That side is so bent. Oh, they're both bent. So, let's see if we can make that like four times as strong, shall we? It looks great, like straight wise. And I'm really liking what I'm seeing. Charles did a good job like bracing up the frame. It looks like a race car under here. <laughs> so this is- uh, Don't look too close. <laughs> this is our new trailing arm setup. We're gonna get it installed and then we're gonna work on our sprinkler system for our line lock. Now that we got this uh, reinforced lower link set up, I think we can maybe weld off of it for the line lock or our you know, cars and cameras line lock. And uh, while Isaac's got, while Isaac's doing that, we're gonna try and tackle the watering system for the rear tires. So that way we can do a nice smoky burnout. So in order to get these tires turning, we need some sort of irrigation system. So I stole the washer tank off of Ike's Durango. So we're gonna mount the uh, washer fluid tank down underneath the seat with, uh, with an electric pump and a battery. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna run put, our yeah put a switch on the dash. Yeah, we're gonna run our hoses right like on top of the tire, not on the ground, but on the tire, so that when this thing starts slinging around, the tires are still gonna get lubrication and not just the ground. Sounds good. I'm gonna try and get this uh, water tank or washer tank, <laughs> our sprayer tank, burnout burn tank. Yeah, burnout tank. Uh, I'm gonna try and get it mounted in a central location underneath the seat. That way it'll please Ike's symmetry. Uh, but I need <laughs> I need to cut off I need to cut off this tab and possibly drill a few holes and just zip tie this thing to the floor uh, but We're going hopefully it's gonna look something like that We're gonna hide the battery along the side of it and run the wiring up to the dash I think we're gonna need a heat gun to dimple it a little bit. Yeah, but that'll be okay. That looks pretty good Kind of use the seat to. There we go. We'll just kind of let Here, that. You want to sit on it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can sit on. So, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let that cool, and when it cools off, it'll stay with where it needs to be the clearance. So now that the heat gun trick worked, we got it fitted for underneath the seat, so where it's not kind of teeter tottering anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and drill some holes to mount this up while John runs our plumbing. Plumber John, watch out. So like we said, I'm gonna be installing our uh, irrigation hoses for our watering system for our line lock and we're gonna basically weld this bracket on this trailing arm that we just installed and the hose is gonna get zip tied to it. And we're gonna drill little tiny holes 
in our hose to let the water kind of spray out onto the tire. So I'm gonna get these tacked in, zip tie our hoses, I'm gonna be able to test it. Yep. Here's the round stock I welded in. Here is our irrigation hose. We have this <laughs> old, just rusty fastener. I'm gonna put some silicone on it, jam it in there, and that's gonna act as a cap so that uh, we're gonna have some good water pressure uh, coming out of these holes that we drill. I basically, I don't even know if you can see that on camera, but I drilled some teeny tiny holes using this innovative tool here. And uh, we're gonna test it because it's kind of finicky and I don't, just don't wanna waste a bunch of my time. So Ike is getting the uh, hose plumbed up to our washer bottle. He's gonna fill it up, put some power to it, and hopefully I'm gonna get sprayed. There it goes. Oh yeah! Uh, dudes, look at that. It's a slow build up. I mean- Is the battery dead? I mean, that battery might be dead, yeah. I think the battery's Perfect. dead. Perfect. This is, this will get us going. Mm -hmm. That will spray. Oh, probably cost some air. Cool. Yeah. Wow. That's two got. thumbs up. I mean, I I probably don't even need more holes than that. Just mount it there and. Yeah, and just keep the zip ties loose so you can rotate it wherever you need them spraying. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it'll work. It'll work. It's covering like a little more than half the tire. I can't wait to try it. We're from like here to there. Pump the tires up really high. Pump the tires up really okay. stout and just spray it in the center and it'll work. Yeah. yeah. It'll probably fling outwards once it starts spinning, maybe. I installed the electrical toggle switch. Now I'm installing a ground for the uh, pump motor. Then after that, we're installing a battery down here in the floor. And all I got to do from there is wire up a hot wire going to the switch and then a wire coming off the switch going to the electric pump, and then that will be the- And we can really test it. With no no uh, front brakes? We could probably uh, See turn happens. on, just kind of play around. Oh, you move know the truck out. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna move the truck. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna test, I'm, I'm gonna test you. Charles is excited. It's probably gonna be bad. I thought that was like the sound of grounding. No, no. <laughs> so we still need to do the line lock on this car, but we're gonna add a little bit of Dawn dish soap to our squirter system. It's gonna make it really slick, and I'm hoping it's gonna help it smoke a little bit. I kinda of doubt it though, but you know. And it's environmentally friendly. Exactly, that is the biggest thing. Yep. Like we could have put oil in this thing and been like, it that would've, would've been, been, yeah, bad. that would've been real bad. So, Dawn dish soap, that ought to be enough. I yeah, think. I'm all saying. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> 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 Well, it looks like you're sitting in. You ready for a test? I think we are ready for a test. Um, yep. just, I'm ready just, to go. Just to make sure, keep an eye on that side. Yep. Oh, that yeah. ought to work. We're spraying over here too. Yep. your shop i'm so sorry that's all right it's water oh okay it's just water yeah and a little bit of oil from over but oh okay well that was my man just slinging it yeah i was wondering i was like that looks like engine oil that's engine oil <laughs> okay yeah all oh, the can flipped over yeah. We're good. yeah we need to get a heart uh better mounted catch can yeah maybe one a little higher right here on the back definitely, of the seat. definitely. we're good to go that's well, that, a good that job really good time for line lock boys 
All right. This this awesome wheel from Go Power Sports. There's a really cool feature that has that comes with it. You can actually drill these little raised bosses out, and there are six point captured areas to where you can keep a nut in there and have a stud come out and mount up a brake rotor or a sprocket, however you need to do it. In our case, we're gonna we're gonna need a brake rotor for our line lock system, but it's kind of a manual, not a uh, hydraulic setup. So I'm gonna get these drilled, get, I guess this side, get this side drilled out, not this side. So you, you can choose one, both of them or just one. And we're just gonna choose the inside because we only need the rotor right here. I gotta get those holes a little bit bigger to accept our bolts, but we should be ready to hover our rotor a little bit higher off of this, so that way our locking mechanism can engage. Now that Charles has all three of these holes drilled out, this is actually pretty ingenious. On the inside of the rim, I don't know if you can see that. So right where it comes through the hole, there is a spot on the inside of this rim for the nut or the head of the bolt to sit in and it locks it in so we're gonna be using the nuts in these holes and when you screw it in you're screwing into the nut and can tighten it down and that's how it holds it that's pretty cool and we'll be able to mount our rotors here or if you're going to make this a drive wheel on a single wheel drive go-kart, you can mount your sprocket and adapter right here so you can have a one wheel peel. So that being said, we got the holes drilled out for these bolts. Uh, I got to say, I really love these wheels. Uh, you can find these wheels at GoPowerSports.com or just go to the link in the description and let them know that Cars and Camera sent you. So we got the rotor in the uh, vise. I'm going to be grinding like eight of these slots in these rotors and that way our little mechanism that we're going to put on the uh the t is going to slide into that slot and it's going to lock the wheel and that'll allow us to get the rear tire spinning holding the front wheels so uh eight slots so me and charles are just kind of discussing how we're going to handle this so I think we've got something with our our rotors that are going to be uh, mounted on the wheels. That looks really cool. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Uh, it's basically going to be like, like this. It's going to be attached to the rim. Just make believe the tire's here, but it's invisible, the rim and tire. So we're going to have it like this. And we're thinking we're going to have a little, little uh, what would I call this? A double gusset. Yeah. Well, it's a double gusset, but, you know... The, I'll call it the key, because the key needs to fit in the slot. So, oh, I got. It. So it's supposed to rock and lock into this rotor. So we get. I'm pretty sure we got that part figured out. But we've got to figure out how we're going to make that work with a cable. Mm -hmm. uh, can we do something hydraulic? Or no, nah, the cable's probably better. Hydraulic's fine, but I don't know what we're going to use. It's kind of, We're going to run into the same issues with the hydraulic line as we mm -hmm. are going to have with this cable. So um, I was thinking, we're having a discussion here. I was thinking that we'd have a piece of square tubing coming up off of this spindle, allowing us to attach this cable. That way, when we turn the wheel left and right, the cable stays with the spindle. Uh, no issues because if it's mounted somewhere else let's say you'd make a left hand or a right hand turn you would engage or disengage the the uh yeah it's kind of important yeah <laughs> yeah we don't want to do that so uh the cable's got to be mounted to this spindle and we're just trying to figure out the best way of doing this and 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 being strong and not have any 
issues. And why not just put hydraulic front brakes on it? Uh, well, we don't have any. There you go! So this is now installed and it's actually pretty centered. So we're gonna have this in place. And I believe we're going to be installing some brackets coming out front of the spindle. Where's mine? Right here, buddy. Oh, thank you. Yep. And that's going to give us more room to install our, uh, how do I say it? Our bracketry. Yeah, the our pivot. bracketry. So this is what we've got so far. We got this little... I keep having trouble figuring out what to call it, but the locking tab. Our locking tab for our brakes. Basically, when we're ready to do a burnout, our uh, cable is going to lock this in place, and then the tire won't turn. So, <laughs> the next thing we got to do is we got to figure out how to attach this cable to that and make it work. And run the cable inside. Yep. You want to see what? You want to hear the sound? Oh, you want to hear the sound of what happens when you throw your car in park going down the road? Oh well, hold on. Good enough. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that dramatic. There goes that parking paw. <laughs> hey, all, all parking new. paw. That's what we're gonna call these. The parking. The paws. parking paw. Okay. <laughs> we got the cable here, and it pulls unlocking the the brake so I'm going to show you so as you can see you can spin the wheel but you let go of that and it locks in genius line lock this is cool the guys have done an awesome job on the line lock system I know you all are wondering why didn't we just put disc brakes on it because we didn't have the parts and this is out of the box. Other people have done and we've done front disc brakes on a go-kart before, but I don't think anyone has done like a weird front parking brake line thing. lock. That is also well, it's, line it's, lock. It's half disc brake, half line lock. Yeah. There's parking paw, there's two parking paw, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on, but it's cool. Ready? Here we go. Yep. Slowing down to the burnout spot. I, now, I just want to point out that you're not supposed to be rolling and releasing the parking, the front brakes. You <laughs> like, come to a stop, and then you release the brakes, and you roll forward enough till it start both lock in, and then you do the burnout. So, in an emergency situation, I don't even think these would do anything. I don't know if these would slow you down very much. Yeah. But this is cool, man. I'm going to spin the wheel so you guys can see what exactly we have going on. But check it out. We have that linkage with the gusset there that pivots and when you let go it finds a little notch and that's how the wheels lock i think it's clever it's cool thank you you guys did a great job thank you um so we just need to get uh, uh our other ends of the cables fastened so that we can just easily engage disengage and then it's time for burnouts so all we're gonna do is weld this thing right here the cables are gonna be in place and we're going to run zip ties to this other cable right there. We got the line lock done. Now we're going to be uh, testing it out. Ready for a test. This yep. is line lock. This is sprayer system. This is reinforced front end. This is All that. the big dog engine. Yep. All right. So we're doing a test of the line lock, the sprayer system, and to see if Ike can do figure eights around the lift without hitting our expensive air conditioner. Because he said he could earlier. Ignition. <laughs> All right. All right. I got you choked. Right. Off. He's the smart one.
got hit. They're waiting to bail. You yeah. It up. Dude. Blowing the bell. There's belt everywhere. There's belt everywhere. Oh my. You boo it up. Oh. All neutrals. All neutrals. Dude, how do you feel? It hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I swear it felt like it still had reverse because it seemed yeah. like the harder I hit the gas, the faster it went backwards sometimes. Yeah. So, That's probably what did it. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, that was fun. Who's next? Uh, we got to get another belt. <laughs> okay. I don't think I could put I've never. This. That is the first time we've ever blew up a belt. Yeah, we've, oh, all, we've is... smoked them and, and gotten them real thin and rolled we've them, but never I've, never, them I've never. Yeah. What was it? The unscheduled rapid disassembly? Oh yeah, that's what happened. Well, the burnout and line lock was successful, but we didn't get any tire smoke. No. And we shredded the belt. We think it was old and dry rotted just by looking at it, it looks old. So we're gonna throw a new belt from Go Power Sports on here, take it over to the other shop, see if we can get some good tire smoke going. So we made it to the little shop. Let's test out the line lock and do a burnout. Stationary. First ever line lock on a go-kart and on this surface we had to cheat a little bit because it's just such a grippy concrete surface and look yep. at the contact patch the rear the front tires are this wide and the rear tires are each this wide so. and all the weight is on the back and the rule and what I was told in like I guess in driver's ed motorcycle tires are only touching the road at about like a dime size so that's how much surface we were trying to hold exactly yeah. so so uh, on the smooth surface it works fantastic yep on on uh, uh, a grippy uh, surface yeah a grippy surface not, not so, so much. much i hope you all have enjoyed the model t burnout build it got rowdy there at the end uh coming up soon we have some content from the rockies we went up there uh with go power sports we have a couple of epic mini bike rides we're gonna be posting about uh everyone don't forget our giveaway goes live today uh, all orders placed on our website, cars-cameras.com, will get you automatically entered to win this custom one-of-one -one, uh, toolbox filled with our favorite tools for working on go-karts and mini bikes. So it's a great way to help support cars and cameras. It's a great way to get some quality merchandise. So uh, go check it out, cars-cameras.com. Thanks again. We'll catch you next time. We're... Doggone it. Right? Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Why'd I grab the hot one? Why is it hot? <laughs> Drop it like it's hot.